Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Final Fantasy XIV Online Let's Play. And we are going to continue the main story where we left off last time after getting out of Zelfatel. So let's talk to Elfino here. See what he's got to say. Forgive me, this is neither the time nor the place for idle introspection. The knights can apprise Lord Edmund of our success, and we the Lord Commander. More importantly, I should like to see if my sister's condition has improved. You may take a moment for yourself if you wish. I will be at the congregation. Okay. Alright, bye everyone. Um, where is this? This is in Foundation, so actually... Let's... Oops. Let's return and check on Alice. Um, so here. Where? <laughs> Where are we going? The Forgotten Knight. I always forget, funnily enough. I forget about the Forgotten Knight. Let's head in here. Mm -hmm. I really want to get a better staff for our transmog. Um, something maybe that fits our little theme here. Uh, we might get some other transmogs as we're going. I was thinking about maybe coming up with a new one for um, Stormblood. But to be honest, I really like what we've got going on here. So, And when I say transmog, I mean outfits. But... <laughs> It's all the same to me. Alright, it brings me joy to see you safely return to us, Vesper. What news from Zelfatel? Then we were not too late. On behalf of Ishgard, I offer you my deepest thanks. As for we who remain behind, Mistress Yerstola has been tending to Mistress Alice in your absence. I am pleased to report that she has regained consciousness. I imagine you have many questions, especially given your recent encounter with the Warriors of Darkness. I know I do. Come, let me show you to her room. Do not worry, her condition is much improved. She's a resilient one, much like her brother. Alright, let's go talk to Alice. <laughs> Alize, how are you feeling? Uh, well enough, brother. Thanks to the kindness of our hosts. They told me you had departed for Zelfatol while I was still abed. I slept much better knowing that. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> I take it your mission was a success. Except that the Warriors of Darkness showed up? As if we needed any further confirmation that they are in league with the Asians. Get out of here with your free company. But to save another world? I think not. I too thought his story fanciful at first, but it is possible there may be a kernel of truth in all of this. At the very least, none of his claims contradict the word's account. You were following these people, Alizé. Why? During my travels, I had often enjoyed tales of the Scions and their exploits, but after a time, I began to hear whispers of a gifted and theretofore unknown band of adventurers. Adventurers who had supposedly sworn to travel the realm slaying primals in the Scion's stead. The Warriors of Darkness. And in the course of investigating these rumors, you stumbled upon the Asian's involvement. Hmm. Yes, exactly. Forgive me, but if these warriors of darkness mean to bring about another calamity, to what end do they hunt primals? To prompt an escalation. To deepen the beast tribe's feelings of helplessness and despair, and thereby drive them to summon ever more powerful gods. And lest we forget, these events do not occur in isolation. With their patron deities being slain left and right, the news of man's victory over Nidhogg must surely have sown panic in the minds of the beastmen. It is no wonder they wish to defend themselves. Hmm. Power answered with greater power. Death with more death. A vicious cycle fueled by fear and hatred. 
I know it's like all too well. Indeed. The Asians sow discord and desperation, and the warriors of darkness reap the harvest. And so it continues. Yet that is not the extent of their ambitions. The Asian himself observed that once the powerless realize that the old gods have failed them, they will have little recourse but to look to a new one. Zodiac. We cannot let that happen. It should come as no surprise, but Alize and I have uncovered evidence that the Asians have been manipulating certain parties to ensure that a constant stream of crystals flows into the hands of the beast tribes. Really? If we sever these supply lines, we should at least be able to slow the escalation. Agreed. Kral and I shall journey to Zelfatol and learn what we can of the Ixar's source. Then I, for my part, pledge to lead a similar investigation into the origin of the Nath supply. Oh, uh, Ravana. <laughs> yeah, yeah Amaric wants to uh, join us. He wants to be a scion, I think, deep down. As a member of the Eorzean Alliance, Ishgard is on a bound to play an active role in maintaining the security of the realm. You might also say that I have some personal motivation, given the Asians' dealings with my father. Ah, uh, a likely story, Amaric. Our dinner party won you over. However, I make no secret of the fact that my knowledge of primal beings is scant at best. As such, I should be most grateful if one of your order were to assist me. Allow me, Sir Emmerich. I have dealt with the Nath before. All right, thank you. Our two boyfriends. <laughs> well, okay, but where do we go? Let us consult with Orianja then. Given his dedication to the study of primal beings, I should be surprised if he could not tell us something of value. Allow mm. me to accompany you, brother. And before you think to refuse, know that I am not the girl I once was. I shall not be a burden. You have my word. But Alize, you... Yeah, she's not gonna let you say no. <laughs> she's very strong-willed. I love her. I, yeah, Alize is... Welcome. After all, it was you who set us upon this path. Alize quickly became, like, one of my favorite of the... of the Scions. A little bit headstrong, but... Wait a minute! I'm afraid I can't allow you to leave just yet. Not until you try on the new outfit I prepared for you. <laughs> oh, Tataru. <laughs> I mean, she made everyone else's outfit, basically. Okay. Let's talk here and see... Her new outfit. Would I be right in assuming that you have not spoken with my sister since one of the memorial services, was it? By the twelve, it seems a lifetime ago. I should like to think we have both grown since then. My apologies for keeping you waiting. And she looks sick in her new outfit, man. Now that you can tell I'm apart now. Right then, shall we be off? Ataru never ceases to impress, though for a moment I feared she might furnish you with an identical outfit. Praise the Twelve she did not. Mother and father were rather too fond of making us wear matching clothes. Do you remember that time at the studium when that girl of yours crept up behind me in the hall and whispered, <laughs> Sister, please. She was not my... Ahem. Can we not have this conversation in front of the... <laughs> yeah, in front of the warrior of light. <laughs> so be it. Another time, perhaps. Yeah, I want to hear about it. It is an honor, Vesper. I realize we are barely acquainted, but having heard so much about you, it hardly feels that way. Been meaning to ask about the carriage. Ah, yes, the carriage that so fortuitously arrived to spirit us away to Ulda after the banquet. The driver informed me that I had my sister to thank for this, for his presence in Ulda. How did you know to send help? 
Oh, drunken brass blades are even less discreet than sober ones. Unfortunately, by the time I learned of the plot, it was too late to do anything more. Frankly, I'm still amazed Brent managed to find you. New garments aside, I must say that you seem different, more resolute than when last we met. You have the look of a woman who is ready to fight for the future of Eorza. To the extent of my abilities, perhaps, but I have no delusions of grandeur, nor will I pretend to have found myself or any such thing. I'm here today because I would regret it if I weren't. That is all. Fair enough. Let us depart for the Waking Sands, then, and see if Uriandre can be of assistance. Uriandre, I should say. I know how to say his name. They say his name enough in the... in the game. Okay. The Waking Sands. I, unfortunately, always remember <laughs> how to get to the Waking Sands. Watch me go to the wrong place. Oh, but we can fly now! Is it gonna be much easier to get there? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go through down there. Cool! Oh, there's Alda in- oh, that looks awesome to see how big Alda is. It's over there. The drills. I know we can't go any higher, just calm your tits down. What's that? Hmm. What is that over there? I don't know. We'll, fi <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay, to the Waking Sands. Uh oh, we got some quests here. Maybe we should pick these up. Ghosts of Amdapur. Um, this is for dungeons. What's this one? Another dungeon, I think? Uh. Wait. I, oh. I see. You now have access to the New Game Plus system. New Game Plus allows you to relive the adventures of your past by replaying previous quests with your current character data. Replay old quests with New Game Plus, open the New Game Plus interface located under Duty in the main menu, select a chapter you wish to experience anew. Please note that special rules and conditions will apply when replaying quests with New Game Plus. For detailed information, please review the help text in the New Game Plus menu. Where is New Game Plus? I mean, we're not going to do it. No New Game Plus for, um... No new game plus for, uh... Oh, we could redo all of Hildebrand. <gasps> okay. Wait, but, uh, but, um... None for, uh, the Realm Reborn. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Huh. Interesting. Well, then I should finish the Hildebrand quests, and then we can redo them on stream. Or on stream. On, uh, on the channel. On stream. <laughs> like, I, like I'm a live streamer. That way we could um, chronicle them, I suppose. Because we were partway through it's some of the footage I lost on there, so that's actually very helpful for us. Alright. Ariange, apologies for calling upon you unannounced. My Master Elfino, would that the scholar had seen fit to grant me knowledge of thy coming. What bringeth thee and thine here this day? The warriors of darkness have returned. Pray allow us to explain. I too have heard tales in recent days of primal beings rising up only to be cast down by forces unknown. Alas, as thou didst observe, this serveth but to spur the beast tribes to pursue th their goals with redoubled fervor. I don't know why I always have trouble with Ariancher's words. 
We have two objectives at this time, to identify and remove the source of the Beast Tribe's crystals, and to take direct action to prevent any further summoning rituals from reaching completion. The second is easier said than done, of course. While we were fortunate enough to learn of the Ixil's plans before they came to fruition, I should be surprised if the Warriors of Darkness and the Asians did not have similar designs elsewhere of which we have no knowledge. Thou wert wise to come hither, for this very day did I receive tidings most troubling from across the Strait of Merlthor. Un Gomoro stirreth, and there are whispers that the Lord of Craigs neareth his return. Mere rumors, mark thou, but in light of thine own discoveries, thou canst ill afford to turn a deaf ear to their claims. Aye, we must ascertain the truth of the matter for ourselves. Let us consult with the Maelstrom forces stationed at Camp Overlook, Vesper. Thank you for your counsel, Oriange. Pray inform us should you learn aught else. I shall. If I may, brother. Oriange, is there anything else you would like to say? Uh oh. Alice? If not, then never mind. I only be ask because you are normally rather more verbose. Nothing to add? Very well. Ere we depart, I wish to make a request. The Warriors of Darkness spoke of how the Ardor had the power to break down the barriers between planes, that our worlds might be rejoined. I would ask that you research this for us. Being nowhere near as well read as you, I'm sure I wouldn't know where to begin. That said, I've heard tell of a promising tome. The Garun Oracles. Mayhap you could start there. <laughs> having to stare down. By thy leave. Camp Overlook, was it? Very well. <laughs> We're both like, what the heck was that about? Tension in the air. Alright, um... What else do you have? Hmm... Should we pick these up while we're here? How many open quests do we have? 24 of 30. We should be okay to pick these up and then, uh... So these are... I think... Oh gosh, what's this one? I didn't expect a cutscene. It is decided. The stance of the science must evolve from shifting sand to unyielding stone. My place, however, is here in the land of unending tragedy. Ere must I remain until the true nature of the primals is revealed to me. Many seasons did I toil to fashion a net across this vast realm. A net that catcheth not fish, but nuggets of wisdom more valuable than gold. Yet even possessed of a hoard of knowledge, I cannot purchase all the keys to the confounding doors that bar my passage. Thus must I presume to unsheath the blade born of light. Thine is a strength that shattereth the stoutest barriers, and doth pierce that which obfuscates the impotent gaze of ordinary men. We have not the luxury of time required but for my measured scholarly pace. For the adder's nest is astir, hissing with the news of Garuda's return. Her winds have grown ever more violent, ever more destructive. What lieth behind this sudden waxing of power? The answer may well prove a vital piece of the puzzle of the primal's existence. Mine eyes perceive a looming wall of strife, poised to crash down upon our cities with unrestrained fury. For the nonce, you must pacify the Lady of the Vortex. Swiftly now to the Adder's Nest, High Serpent Commander Hedaway <laughs> will have such details as thou needest to proceed. I shall await thee at the Waking Sands and pray for thy success. That's, um, extreme primals. Uh, I won't be doing those on, on, uh, on camera. Simply because if I do go in there, it's going to be solo and unsynced. And it will be because I'm farming ponies. <laughs> um, and do I want to get rid of Amdivor Keep? I just want to get those so that we can unlock that. I mean, we've got a ton of quests in here so we can unlock some stuff as soon as... As soon as we're on the quest, we'll be able to do some of those. And it's going to help with our roulettes, basically. So, um, if you don't play this game a whole lot, in the Duty Finder, you've got 
you know, duty roulettes. The raids, guild tests, main scenarios, trials, leveling. Like, trials can sometimes get some stuff. Uh, but really, the... The extreme... Um, versions of primals from A Realm Reborn. You're probably best doing them solo or with, like, a group of two unsynced. Or setting up in Party Finder to do it unsynced. Uh, because if you go in synced, I mean, they're hard for a reason. So, they're called extreme. They're... There's the normal, hard, and then extreme, and so these are extreme for a reason. Um, can I not land on top of this? That sucks. I want to walk up here. Uh, but I realized I have to... Gotta go somewhere. Okay. Camp Overlook. Let's go. Ah, uh, he's in for a good time as a newbie. <laughs> I love it when uh, players come in, like new players to the game and experience the story for the first time. You kind of get a, like a, not a tainted view of it, but like a bittersweet view. Like, I don't really want to go through the story again and again. And man, there's a lot of fetch quests and boring stuff. Uh, but for a first time, it's fantastic. There's Alfie No and Alice there right there. First time experiencing this game. I wish you could experience it for the first time multiple times, you know. Alright, seven hells. At this rate, I'll have to appeal to Maelstrom Command for reinforcements. Hmm? Whatever it is, we don't want any. Do you not recognize me? Well, fancy that. Just when my kobold problems look like coming to a head, the signs of the seventh dawn turn up, itching to pitch in. Bloody brilliant timing is what it is. Right then, let's get to it. Alright, you got a problem, bud? We help you out. So our friendly neighbors of Ungamaro have got much more aggressive of late, just as you said. Matter of fact, our scout spotted one sniffing about the stores just now, likely looking to make off with an armful of crystals. I'll be damned if I'm about to let that happen. Lend a hand and help us search the camp for the little bugger, would you? Alright. Elfino. Gotta sniff out a, uh, a bulb. Our maelstrom friends seem notably more agitated than when first we arrived. Do you happen to know why that might be? Kobold in the camp, you say? That would appear to corroborate Uriandru's information, yes. But to be so reckless as to infiltrate a maelstrom camp and draw attention to their efforts is passing strange. Well, there will be time to think on this later. For the present, we must do everything in our power to prevent Titan summoning. That means finding and questioning this kobold. Alright, if I were a kobold... I wouldn't be doing these push-ups. Elfie knows right there. Look in. Um, this is for the machinist quest. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's not a kobold. Here we go. Kobold Ling. Gasp! <laughs> Wait, I want to talk to you, little buddy. Where do you go? No, Machinist is a, a class that I haven't gotten high level either. I wonder how it plays. He's down up here. I don't see very many machinists to be awesome. Um, to be awesome, to be honest. That's a bad sign. Where's the music, by the way? Stay back, away, far back. I'm not a, not a. God, it's no use. Pointless, hopeless, no use. Wait, come back. Um, where is the music? Hello? <laughs> it's all set right, right? They're like a... Hmm. Where the music? Base boost. 
I don't know. I don't know what happened to music. Sorry, guys. Cut out. I wonder if the uh, game's having a little glitch. Alright, bud. Stop running away from us. But please don't hurt me. I only wish to talk. Yes, yes, just talk. I, I, gah. Would you stop running? I think, I feel like we would be able to stop him from running away. We're just choosing not to at this point. Music? There we go. This was a stupid plan. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But if I tell no one, then everyone will- Gosh, she found me again! What to do, what to do, what to do? I- I come in peace, only to talk. Speak, say, talk. So please, please do not hurt me. So this is why- our, so this is our wily kobold infiltrator, is it? No wonder the soldiers were on edge. He could very well give one a bruised knee. <laughs> Huzzah! We've got him! Fine work, Scions. So, little one, thought you could sneak into my camp, did you? Plotting to steal my crystals, were you? No, no, no! I came to talk, to ask for help. But when your soldiers saw me, they drew their weapons and shouted, and I... I... Now, now, let us all take a deep breath and discuss this like civilized individuals. What is your name, child? Pikmin Gabu of the 620th Order. At least I will be a Pikmin one day. Well met, Gabu. I am Elfino, and this is my sister Alice. Vesper, the woman who found you, is our friend. And now that you know our names, we can be friends too. Now, Commander Bloyden here thinks you wanted to take his crystals, Gabu. But you said you came to ask for help. Why to us, and not to your own people? What happened, Gabu? Can you tell us? I, um... Er... <laughs> How I say? No one is gonna hurt you, alright? Not while we're here. I promise. The, the the patriarch he he's the patriarch is going to summon the great father again and you have to stop him beat him fight him stop him Gabu's parents said they didn't want it along with many others but the patriarch wouldn't listen he was so angry raging fuming angry he said that if they didn't have the iron in their hearts they would serve as coke for the furnace and then the guards took my parents and the others away, and I haven't seen any of them since. Oak for the furnace. I did not want to believe it, but I have heard tales of folk I fashioned from the bones of beastmen, which worshippers use in their rituals, hoping to summon more powerful incarnations of their gods. By the twelve, that is... that is sickening. No one listens to Gabu, no matter how much he cries. Please beg cries. They do not listen, only talk about punishing the overdwellers and praising the Great Father. Gabu loves the Great Father, but he loves his parents too. So please, help Gabu stop the Patriarch and save his parents. Commander, advise Maelstrom Command that Titan summoning is imminent. Should the worst come to the worst, we will require their support. Time being of the essence, we three will attempt to infiltrate the kobold stronghold, secure the crystals, and free the prisoners. Well, if you're sure, you'll forgive me if I don't seem optimistic. We'll make ready, just in case. I mean, get to it. Did you not hear Titan is coming? Alright, Delphino. I have faith that we may yet stop the ritual. We would surely have detected the associated etheric disturbance had Titan manifested already. But I cannot speak for the prisoners. Twelve have mercy. That they would even contemplate sacrificing their own flesh and blood. Brothers and sisters. Mothers and fathers. Time is of the essence. We must see what else Gabu knows and formulate a plan without further delay. Okay. I'm really put off by no music. I'm just throwing that out there. I heard Great Father Titan loves crystals, cherishes, covets, loves them, and if we gather enough, he will return. That's why my patriarch told everyone to go forth and gather them. 
So I was thinking, if we take all the crystals away, maybe the Great Father won't come. Very good, Gabu. I was just thinking the same thing. Do you know where these crystals are stored? I know, I know. Oh, oh, oh. Several spots, each defended by a different order. Gabu wanted to steal them, but he was too afraid to go alone. Yes, yes, too afraid to go alone. But together, we can take them away and hide them. Come, come. Gabu will lead you to the first cache. Maybe if we fly, the music will come back? No. <laughs> hmm. Alright, Gabu. Quickly, quickly. Destroy this. You have them all? Good. Lead on, Gabu. This way, this way. Mm -mm -mm. I'll sing for you guys then. Da 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 da. Bum 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 bum. There we go. You know what we could do? Oh, cutscene. Hold on. <laughs> Time is short. If you have the crystals, we should move on to the next cache. Did you hear me, brother? Brother? Aye, aye. It's just that... I'm quite certain that crate once bore guardian seals. Someone took great pains to remove all traces, but enough remains to make up the pattern. See for yourself. I struggle to imagine kobolds traveling to Corthus to obtain crystals much less bothering to conceal their origins. I suspect these crystals were smuggled into Vildebrand by another party, most likely a pawn of the Asians, as Thancred speculated. I don't understand. Who are the Asians? Do they worship Great Father Titan too? Ah, uh, never you mind about that. As Alice said, we do not have a lot of time. Can you lead us to the next cache, Gabu? Yes, yes, of course. Gabu knows the way. The next one is the last and is very large. Very big, very huge, very large. The Ish Guardian crate. I absolutely hate no music. But you cast about for a time, you see no sign of the crystals. Uh oh. They already took them. Confound it. What about you, Vesper? Any luck? Nothing, nothing, nothing. But this cannot be. Gabu saw them. Spied, spotted, saw. Think, brother, think. They must have moved them, yes? The question is where to and why? Within Ogomoro, where they summoned Titan once before and mean to do so again. It is the only explanation. What about mother and father and the others? We have to help them. And we will, Gabu, we will. Stay calm. We still have time. They have yet to call for the remaining crates, yes? If they had, then they would have found the other caches empty and sounded the alarm. Nevertheless, I believe the time for stealth has passed. We must breach the navel and seize the remaining crystals. There is no other way to prevent Titan summoning. But first, give me your crystals, that I might deliver them into Commander Bloyden's custody. We dare not take them into the bowels of the mountain. Right. Here you go. Crystals, Vesper, if you would be so kind. Don't attack us. Thank you. I shall deliver them to Camp Overlook for safekeeping and brief Commander Bloyden on the situation. Pray go on ahead. As I recall, there is an aetherite within the Ogamaro mines that should deliver you to the navel. Gabu doubtless knows the way. Wait for me there. I shall rejoin you anon. Strange. I would have thought you eager to remain in the thick of the action. But if this is what you would prefer, then Godspeed, brother. This way. This way. Alright, what I was going to do, since we're having music problems? Oh, we could turn on play music when mountained. Mounted, and then we get the mount music, or not? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. 
Or not. Oh yeah. <laughs> but it's the mount music and I don't, I don't particularly like the mount music. I like the zone music much better than the flying music. All right, how did we get there again? Down through here, I believe. Okay. I need help. <laughs> oh. They're here. Down this way. Okay. Ah, I take it this is the Aetherite we seek, right then? As soon as Elfino arrives, we must- we go. I trust you're feeling suitably heroic, Vesper. There's no telling what sort of resistance we'll face in there. Ah, the navel. At least there's music in here. Quickly, you clods! Briskly, swiftly, quickly! I will not suffer any further delays. Lay down your arms and surrender. We have your crystals. There will be no summoning this day. Oh no. Overdwellers here? But how did you- Where are my parents, Patriarch? Where are they? Aww. Are they already dead? Aww. Mother? Father? Coke for the furnace. You monster, how could you? Aye, we are but servants of the Lord of Craigs. We are his, that he may drink of our blood and partake of our flesh, that he might draw upon the strength of his children and defend them from the tyranny of the overdwellers. No, Alice, eh? Not yet. I understand, Patriarch. I do. Your fear, your anger, your hate. You would do anything to protect your people. Anything to deliver them from despair. Whatever it takes to ensure that those who threaten you can never do so again. But in your single-minded pursuit of this objective, you have brought suffering on your own kith and kin. You have sacrificed the lives of the very people you sought to protect. But it need not be this way, Patriarch. Renounce this bloody course. Cease your attempts to summon your god and work with us, together, to build a lasting peace. Another peace to be abandoned at the Overdweller's convenience? Oathbreakers, all of you. Liars, betrayers, oathbreakers. You take and you take and you take. And when you have had your fill, you sue for peace. You promise that this time, this time is the last, until you grow hungry again. And when we dare to defend ourselves, you declare that this beast tribe cannot be suffered to live. That our god drains the land of Aether and brings naught but suffering, death, destruction, suffering upon us all. I will hear no more lies from you and yours, Overdweller. You've ruined your own lands, you'll not ruin ours. Poor kiddo. I said I'd come for you, and I did. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Say something. Please? Please. Please! <laughs> oh, poor guy. Uh-oh. Gabu summoned a primal. There we go, the Titan music, man. Wake up, wake up! Wake up, wake up, wake up! Wake up, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! 
Titan is pissed. But he's pissed at you guys. I hope you know you killed the killed them. <laughs> They're like, wait a sec! Don't look give us that look. Oh god. Okay, so uh, are we gonna fight this guy? Seven hells. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Don't you dare beat Gabu. Elfino, leave him to me. Carbuncle. We must away. I got this. Oh wait, we're leaving? Carbonco, you coming? <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna like leave Titan there? forget do we fight him like we go in and fight him by the 12 how could I be so foolish I should have known better than to let Gabu accompany us given what we were like to find his anguish and despair have served to birth a primal just as surely as with the su supplications of the faithful worse being born of such tumultuous uh, emotion this incarnation of Titan seems incapable of naught but violence if we have one cause for optimism, it is that while many crystals were present, they represented but a fraction of the quantity intended for the summoning ritual. Meaning that Titan must be far weaker than planned. Be that it is May, he is yet a primal, and the longer we leave him to bleed the land of Aether, the stronger he will grow. And should Titan be permitted to leave Ongo Ogmoro, more lives will be lost. The Maelstrom will rally their troops, and the cycle will continue. Vesper. You know what must be done. Will you face the Lord of Craigs once more? I mean, of course. Thank you, my friend. Elsa and I will tend to Gabu. When you have finished with the primal, look for us in Camp Overlook. We will be expecting you. Is the duty finder to confront Titan in the navel hard? All right, we can do that. <laughs> uh, wait, can we do that? Uh oh. The navel. Hard. Alright. Well, we will do that. But we're going to do that in the next episode. So we're going to do that first thing next episode. And take on Titan Hard Mode. So guys, I want to thank you for all of your support on this series. Sorry about the music problems. I'm not sure what is going on there. Uh, maybe it's an in-game bug? Not quite sure. But we'll hopefully we'll get that fixed. Uh, and in the next episode, we'll take on Titan Hard Mode. Where the music is fantastic. Um, we will continue on. So, thank you so much for all your support. If you do want to see more of the Final Fantasy XIV online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye-bye everyone.